show you uh, tattoo copies in the original. Okay. I fucking hate when people ask me permission. I just want them to fucking rip me off full force. Tag me in it if you want. I'm put in a position where I'm gonna ask you politely not to do it, and then you're gonna do it anyways. They really need some like imagination to do something different, but yeah, that's that's bad. I mean, the original is amazing. The copy is like a poor, very poor rendition. My stuff gets bootlegged all the time. Like I could see why he's upset. It's obviously two different photos. It's terribly done. It kind of looks like he had his eyebrows done right before that photo. Now, is it really considered a a copy if it's an actual picture, though? I mean, it is because the halo is not really a picture. I don't know. I'm not a huge fan of copies. The nose. It's always in the nose. It's always the giveaway. I, I don't want to say, like, it's too bad. It's not too bad, bad, but it's still bad. What about it's bad? Uh, it's everything. Shading, the lines, the color. Yeah. It's really that... The halo is really, I mean, because I'm assuming this is just a photo of Mac Miller, but it doesn't look like they used the photo because it's at a completely different angle. Yeah, so it they, looks like they took the tattoo and made a stencil out of Yeah, because that. of hands. Maybe. Yeah. <laughs> I like that they, you know, they took some creative license and they go, yeah, you know, I love it. I want to copy it. But like, I just really wish he was smoking a cigarette. The thing you have to do is just be better than who you're copying. The first one's incredible. Even if someone comes to you and says, hey, let's, I want this exact thing, I can choose to say, no, I don't want to copy their work. They can say, well, I want it, that's my body. And you can say, that's cool, we can agree to disagree if they want to go somewhere else, but copying directly is just such bad form. You get what you pay for, I guess. The problem with trying to copy such an amazingly done tattoo is that you have to be a really good tattoo artist as well. And I'm not saying that the guy, the other guy is bad. I'm just saying that he's not nearly as good. To be honest, it's not that bad, like the hands, started off okay. The eyes are weird. It looks like like he tried to do the same face position, but he couldn't really figure it out. So he was just like, I'm just gonna draw his face and then put a hand over it. Poor dude, I mean, he's <sighs> definitely doesn't look that great in the second one. That's like a huge offense towards him. You know, Mac Miller, rest in peace. Yeah, no. I've never seen the one where the guy gets the nipple tattooed on the person. Like, that, things like that drive me nuts because like, just try and stretch it out or something. Like that one, it's really poorly done, but it could have been like flattened out better. They copy, you could tell like when they copy a picture, they copy the actual tattoo. Doesn't matter like the angle because it's sitting on the arm. Weird. Oh my God, my eyes hurt. What is going on with the shading? Oh, he was trying very hard, <laughs> you can tell. <laughs> Yeah, but pretty much everything's wrong. It's totally different. I like the face tattoo on the right one. This one doesn't even look like they stenciled the tattoo. I don't know what they did. Looks like they, they drew they, it from yeah, memory and hand. then tattooed, yeah. <laughs> That's some sick fucking Craigslist tattoo, bro. The intention was there, but the execution not. I can see why someone would be jealous and want that on their body and try and replicate it. It's almost like someone took a tire and took some of the air out of it. And you just have like this like tire that used to be full of air and looked good and can like do its job. They didn't even try really. Yeah, that's terrible. Her lips look like, <laughs> oh God, her eyebrows. This is what, and, and I love that it's like curved a little bit too because they just trace it off of the, the tattoo. They didn't even bother to redraw it. So then the bottom's just like all wonky. Nice try. Oh, that's a shame too. I love Zelda. <sighs> I, could, I couldn't even imagine trying to copy this and not wanting to do it justice. I'm really not a fan of either, so. Like yellow is difficult enough when it heals well, when you've done it properly. And, but like if you put it in a scratchy as shit, then it's, I, I dread to think how that's gonna look. I don't wanna say like it's too bad. I don't really get it be because I, I mean, I have a problem with like triangles. This one is almost as good. Almost. At least they did an okay job, but it has the detail of a hand tattoo the size of a yeah. small melon. Oh man, like her nose bridge just like disappeared. This is less bad. The copy did a better job, but I wouldn't endorse it at all. I almost want to steal that tattoo too. I'm so jealous that's not on me. I actually don't think it's a completely horrible copy. That one's not crazy bad. It's just lacking like definition and stuff and just good 
artistry. Those light colors, if you don't know what you're doing, it's gonna look like that. See, I love Legend of Zelda. I'm guessing that's what that is, right? Legend of Zelda? That sucks. It's ugly. Like, I feel for them, you know? I feel like they, they wanted to execute that tattoo the way that original artist did, but sorry, buddy, you just, just missed it. Wow, the one on the left is obviously a baseball rose. The other one on the right looks like a pig's vagina. That thing is terrible. Like, I came in. That's really sad. It's a very sad comparison to Mike, really. It looks like I'm staring right at the pig's vagina. Like, it's like right there in the middle. I'm sorry about that. Yeah. Like, Listen, it's been a world, uh, really crazy 20 years of tattooing. I mean, he like reinvented the wheel. He made it like his own, so respect. <laughs> it looks like a raisin. I mean, you could tell it's baseball themed. Yeah. But you can't tell it's a rose. I like how they got the drop of water on there. <laughs> That's gonna make it like, oh, a nice detail. The left, I see what's going on. The right looks like a portrait of like socks on the floor. I wouldn't know that was a rose if I stood back here even. The replication looks like a Frankenstein of the original. Even to successfully copy it into black and gray, you could have still made it look like a, a rose, at least. Sis. Ch child. That bad rose, I called the used tissue rose. It looks like a crumpled up used tissue. It, the second one kind of looks like a wilted like cabbage. I also have this weird thing where like I can't help but see a vagina in a rose and like this one, it's like you can see the little like, ugh, it's just too much for me. I'm, I'm good with those, those vagina roses. That's just ugly. Damn, they didn't even finish that one. They didn't even get through it. That's really unfortunate because the one on the left is beautiful. The one on the left probably took the tattooer like, maybe like five to six hours to do because like, you know, all those soft grays and everything like that. The one on the right, which is unfinished, probably took like five or six hours to do in his homie's basement. I think that might be the worst one. Look at the lines at the top. On the right, it's like not done yet. <laughs> Still need a lot of work. <laughs> they have to cover though, the new one. <laughs> he reached out, price was too much, said his homie could do it for 150. Hey, I've seen this one on the internet. Not like the shit one, but like the good one. I guess it's like a better way to live than realizing you have a terrible tattoo, to just kind of see it and go, Looks great, um, but then the rest of us have to stare at it, and it's like really like a disservice to like my eyes. <sighs> you gotta get your own tattoos, guys. They tried, you know. The spirit is there. Okay, so see that, and then see the original. Like you know, you fucked up. It looks like they were like really trying with like the face values and stuff, and they were like, "Yeah, I got this." And then when it came to like the lining of it, they were just like, "Who fucking cares?" I never understood why people would take the picture, tattoo the tattoo that they're like doing, and then the tattoo they're copying right next to it, as if that's totally cool. That's stupid. Oh, that's gonna heal terrible. The tattoo goes off the like it wraps around the skin, and they didn't even factor that in. Like they just cut it short and put the line straight down. And like, it's called black and gray, and they just have black and damaged skin. They're copying like the tattoo, you can just see by the shape of, like they're stenciling over top of the tattoo. Um, I like this milk glass effect on this picture. This is really an original. <laughs> I'm sorry. If you squint, it's not bad. Yeah, actually it is. Still bad. Silhouette of bird. The second one looks like if the first person died in a river and then like the CSI squad pulled their body out after like a month. Fuck. That woman's eye is like kind of droopy. Almost looks like a fried egg that's gonna slide off the side of her face. It's just a hot ass mess. First one is so cool. Like that's such a cool tattoo. The second one kind of looks like um like a weird creak in a door that just got open and somebody's like, hello, can I help you? They made the bird so like, not birdy. That doesn't even look like a bird anymore. It just looks like a potato with a face in it. I mean, the retail is not terrible on this one, honestly. The, the real one doesn't even thrill me that much. Like, it's like trash polka and a poor attempt at it, but the one on the right is just like. <laughs> That's some scratchy line work. This is like one of these styles I really don't understand. I mean, how did that even like come up? It's a different tattoo. The outline's bad, shade's bad, the red. This is exactly what I would expect from a copy of this tattoo. 
Actually, I don't like the original. I don't know. These remind me of like a, you remember that, uh, like like an artist's rendering, like when the police are looking for somebody, but they give like a really bad description. I don't want to talk about this one. The first one is beautiful. The second one, or the copy, looks shitty as fuck, but there's something going, like you can see what it is. You know, the, the original is like not the best, but then you see the copy and it gets even worse. And so it makes the original look that much better. Can these people get sued or something? The copy is, looks like a blow up doll, like with a cigarette. That thing is pretty bad. Like even the bottle of wine looks like it's a devil with a dick. At least they left the face tattoo out. Oh God, it's so terrible. I don't even know where to begin. I'm just wondering if they like, just like trace like a picture of the tattoo because then you would get like all the proportions wrong, which is totally what's happening in that picture. <laughs> Her face is like. <laughs> She's looking in a completely different direction. They got the color wrong too. It's like nuclear absence. So there's a thing where when you start like totally fucking up perspective and stuff, if you fuck it up and up, it actually looks cool again. The ice scare. Portrait copies are my favorite because it's always like one eye is like down here and one's up here and they're like. Whoa. <laughs> the copy, she looks like she's had a rough ass night. She looks trashed. Oh my God, is it holding a coffee cup? It has no hand. It's just, it's like if you fuse in coffee cup onto the wrist. They left the sink out. It's a half copy. And they gave her nipple rings. That's Kavan as well, the original. She's still trying to hold up her phone with a really, really broken index finger. The rip off picture, they gave her nipple piercings. So that's a great gimmick. <laughs> Say fuck. Ooh, they just trashed it up. First one's classic. She has a non-existent hand. This is one I did back in 2013, 2014, somewhere around there. This person who, who sort of like copied me, like they did some things to like make it their own as far as like pulling the mug and changing the, the arm from a different tattoo of mine. Not even that, I, I think I'm, I'm upset they left the sink out of it because the sink is like one of my favorite parts. Her hand is turned into a fuck can. <laughs> Yeah, her hand kind of does this, but in front of it, there's just a can that says fuck on it. It's like they just have an amputated hand with like a floating coffee cup. The real one is Kavan's. I have no, like, where's her hand? Like, why even do that? You cut off homegirl's hands for no reason. That fuck hand is pretty great. I don't know. I don't know. I, <laughs> I kind of like the revised one. He put like, he hold the, the things, but no hands to hold. Yeah, cool. I mean, he tried really hard because it's flip. Nice try. Uh, this one's actually not terrible. Definitely a copy. But they just made some white things black. If you're gonna copy something to this level and it's like a one, one, but just like reversed, like just fucking trace it. Just trace it. Don't try to like take, you know, oh, I wanna have integrity and copy this, but draw it myself and do a really piss poor job. Flipping it does not make it original. At least they reversed it. I don't think it's a, uh complete fail of a copy, but it's not necessarily a full success. It's just like tragic that people even attempt um, like human faces if you're just like not good at them. Like where is her chin? Her no She looks like someone mushed her face in. That nose, man. I feel like the nose is like what really messes up. The nose and the eyes mess up a tattoo. My eye has gone straight for the mouth. I don't care, but like my clients who get these things would be maybe more annoyed that they share it with some like dong who doesn't understand anything. But um, if they just do it, don't tell me about it. And then show me and I go, oh, surprise, it's a terrible version of something I've done.